Hello fish lovers and welcome back to my channel. It's been two weeks, 14 days since I started dosing malachite green inside my aquarium and sadly I still have ick. I didn't lose any fish but ick is still present in the tank. At the beginning I started using cheap malachite green that I found uh, at the pet store, but after that I have bought and used it GBL Ultra Plus that contains Malachite Green and Methylene Blue. One bottle I already use it in my tank, this is my second bottle. I think I use it uh, maybe six doses of uh, Malachite Green and like I said I still have weak new white spots appear on my fish, so I don't, I don't think it's working. I ordered um, Cupramine over the internet last week, it should be here today and I'm still thinking switching to Cupramine because I don't know how much my uh, my fish would uh, withstand the market green. So far they are doing okay, they are eating which is good uh, but my SPS corals are all dying, they are bleaching out. I have a Montifora over there that is bleaching. It's going to be it's going to be turning white. My soft corals are still alive. I did remove my uh, my starfish and some of my corals into a smaller 60 liter aquarium. But Malachite Green doesn't really work and I can't say that is reef safe. It doesn't kill uh, the snails. The snails, I still, ha I still have two snails in here. They are alive and uh, crawling over the glass and rocks. They have uh, been in the tank with my market green treatment and they are okay. It didn't kill my starfish, but I moved them over to a smaller tank. The market green only killed my uh, my uh, cleaner shrimp, it, it, clean, it killed my cleaner shrimp uh, in less than 24 hours and it's slowly killing my SPS corals but uh, except that I didn't have any water quality problems, no uh, ammonia or milky water, nothing like that so I don't know if I will continue to use another week of uh, GBL Punctor Plus in this tank so it's going to be a full three weeks of, tre of treatment and um, I don't want to forget but I also started to dose uh, Metronizadol Two and a half grams of metronizodol every two, two, uh, two days in my in my, ton, in my tank along with uh, malachite green and also I am uh, feeding my fish with uh, metronizodol uh, food I'm just uh, putting the, the pills along with uh, the, the food to soak and after that I'm just uh, feeding my fish with that food. Uh, I, I've been doing that since uh, maybe four days. Yeah, four days, four or five days. But I still have ache on my fish. So uh, I don't know how much I can carry on with both of the treatments, metronizadol and malachite green. Maybe I'm going to wait one more week and after that I'm going to install this do-it-yourself reactor that I have here. I'm going to put some activated carbon inside and connect my main pump to the reactor so I can be sure that all of my water will going to pass through the 
activated carbon for one or three or two days and after that I'm going to start uh, using uh, cupamine because we really malachite green and even methanol doesn't uh, work I don't know how long should I keep the treatment I'm really um, afraid that will damage my my fish but copper is not really safe also so I'm really uh, in a big mess here don't know what to do next and how long should I treat my, my fish corals are already dying so I don't know if they can make it they are going to make it but I'm really concerned about my fish you can see my yellow tank over there it's, it's trying to be <laughs> cleaned off by my other fish not all of my fish are big but of course my tanks have big my scopas tank over there the first one who developed it now it's egg free and I didn't see any egg on it but my yellow tank my blue tanks constantly uh, have new white spots on them so yeah it's not looking good I don't think it's working two weeks of malachite green and five days of mitronizadol and still have ick I don't know what to do.